What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video here and I just wanted to share with you our experience at Richmond Raceway. Um, the fall race. We went to the NASCAR race. Uh, here's some of the stuff we got. Uh, had some Dale Earnhardt Jr. stuff on clearance. My girlfriend and I each got a shirt. I think mine was nine and hers was eight. And the hats, really, really good deal on the hats. Uh, the one on the right here was three, two dollars ninety seven cents, three bucks, and this one was four dollars under Under Armour hats. So, really good deal. Uh, over here on the right, all of these die casts here, the one sixty four scales were discounted. They were on clearance for one dollar. I got. Casey Mears, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Brad Keselowski, Ryan Scott, Danica Patrick, Boo, the 88, Junior Motorsports, Eric Almarola, Austin Dillon, Ryan Newman. There's our ticket. And DC Solar. Fan grounds pass. Also got a program and diecast car. It was awesome, guys. Uh, we went in, walked around a while, went to all the stands and all that good stuff. Uh, well, we first had to fix some breakfast there in the parking lot thing, tailgate a little bit, and uh, then we went in. Uh, where do I want to start next? Uh, we got to see the driver introductions, which was badass. We were right down there. I mean, we could reach out and shake their hand when they came by. It, it was awesome. Uh, then, uh, let's see, around 4 o'clock, me and my friend went to the Ford display while... My girlfriend and his girlfriend went to the Toyota display and uh, at the Ford display I got David Reagan to sign this hero card he was there they were doing interviews with the drivers it was David Reagan Ricky Steinhouse Kurt Busch Joey Logano yeah I want to say there was one more and there's Ricky Steinhouse the one that's a little bit smaller and uh, the driver that was at the Toyota display, my least favorite driver, but they ended up getting me an autograph, which I'm very thankful for. Kurt Bu uh, Kyle Busch, Rowdy, who did end up winning the race. So it was kind of neat to have to get his autograph on a day that he won the race. So that was pretty neat. Then after, with about... Well, not after. With about 100 or so laps to go, me and my girlfriend decided to go back down into the pits because you could go with the DC Solar Grounds Pass. You could go in there anytime you wanted to, pretty much, in, in the garage area. Go down because Harvick was running second, and that's my favorite driver now. So we were hoping he would get to the front and we could go down in there and see him celebrating victory lane because you could go right down into that basically we went down and it turned out that kyle bush ended up winning the race again he swept richmond this year but it was neat to be down there and see the celebration and everything the monster energy girls were nice wow and then the coupe de gras on all that we were just walking around down there, kind of walking around, hoping we could see some drivers or something. Walked down to near the media center. Girlfriend, she had to uh, go to the bathroom, and they have all they have concessions and stuff down in there in the infield now with the renovation project. So she went into the bathroom, and I was just watching around. I seen Eric Almarola come out, and he was in a hurry. He's taking a picture with a kid and he was out of the way, getting out of the way and leaving. And uh, 
I think it was Mark Truex came through with a NASCAR official, and they were, I mean, whoo, they were gone. And then she finally came out, and I was walking a little bit ahead of her, and she's like, hold on a minute. And she's like, look over there, and it was Kevin Harvick. He was uh, signing some autographs, and lo and behold, I got this poster signed by Kevin Harvick. That is awesome. And we ended up even walking out behind him through the tunnel when he was leaving. How badass is that? That is wicked. I even got a little bit of video footage, stalker footage, if you will, walking out behind him. It was awesome. It was a blast. You guys, if you, if you live near a racetrack, I, I don't know if any of them can be as great as what Richmond has been and was this time. I mean, it's been great every time we went, but this just was awesome. The new DC Solar Grounds Pass. You get down and walk. You can take it, go through the garage area. There'll be crew members like they they have their uh, what's the word for the 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 wagon that has all their tools and everything in. They're moving equipment back and forth. You can talk to the crew members. I guess when they're not so busy. So they do have a little time off every once in a while. If you, I guess if you have a question, you can ask them or take a picture with them. Sign, ask them for an autograph. There's all kinds of stuff going on down in there. They have bathrooms and all that and concessions. You're not allowed to take any food or drink in down there, which is understandable. They don't want a bunch of freaking trash laying around. I mean, if you don't think people are nasty... You need to see that parking lot after the race is over. I'm just telling you. Even seen one time where somebody had even knocked a porta potty over. I mean, when you get people drinking, they don't care what they do a lot of the time. So, show that autograph again. Kevin Harvick, number four. It was a blast, guys. Can't wait to go back. So I think I'm going to wrap it up with our experience at Richmond Raceway, NASCAR Auto Part, or Federated Auto Parts 400, September 22nd, 2018. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.